Hello, Lilas. <laughs> welcome, welcome to Junk Finalia. <laughs> no, welcome back to my channel, guys. Um, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And um, join the chat box. The link is in the description bar if you want to be a part of my paid channel membership for exclusive live streams. Um, it is $1.99 to join. Um, join in the channel mem my channel membership just um, it's basically supporting you know me as a creator. Um, a lot of people don't really get it and I understand like a lot of people can't just uh, join a whole bunch of paid subscriptions a month so um, I do appreciate those who do take, you know, the time out to join and also those who, you know, sacrifice that dollar and 99 cents a month uh, to join the channel memberships. It isn't, it, it does mean a lot to me. Um, but those of you that do not, um, I still value you guys as viewers as well. Um, you still my Lola's. <laughs> I just wanted to say that I hadn't said that in a while and I just wanted to put that out there. Um, that it is a big to do for me uh, when you guys do. Um, so anyway, I have a lot to catch you guys up on. Um, one, for those that may be new, this is Elijah Jacoby. And Elijah Jacoby is the Sandy um, sculpt by Joanna K. And, um, he was painted by me. Eventually, he will be rooted by my, um, rooter. Uh, but until the meantime, he's a bald and he's going to be wearing his little hats. And just here, I haven't been able to take him out these little slippers. Um, if you guys go back, you'll see where I got Love Mail and Hasina, which is Sina's dolls. Um sent him these little well she sent them to me and I decided they were gonna be his these little little slippers and I think they're so cute um he is definitely one of my favorites I I joke about him all the time and say you know he look like he bites and stuff like that but he is definitely one of my favorites um so anyway moving past that Lord we're two minutes in the video and I've not even talked about anything important really um so first of all i've been sick so that's why you haven't seen me posted a whole lot um secondly i've been even through being sick i've been trying to focus on rooting i i am slow as dirt and so i i know um a slow as nails i should say old as dirt <laughs> i should uh never ever ever try to root ahead that big again but we're almost there we're almost there so what's coming up is after I finish rooting uh that particular baby I am going to root the other babies in here that need to be rooted but mainly I will be rooting my special little boy um, if you have not followed me on my vlog my blog <laughs> It's MissRendysmithBabies.com. You'll see a little blurbage about baby Jaden, which is definitely um, a baby that I, I do want to share with you guys eventually. Um, at some point, I um, really, 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 really am in love with that baby. Um, and I know, I mean, I'm a collector. That's what we do. We get hyped up, we get excited, new baby. We just, you know, act a fool. And then the newness wear off and it's like, boom, this baby is available. I don't know that that's gonna be the case for this one. Um, I I don't foresee it happening no time soon. Um, but I will be putting some other babies up for sale once they are rooted. <laughs> I 
I like to think that I can like do where I can reserve, you can reserve a baby, right? Like once it's painted, you can reserve it and you know, get it once it's done, root being rooted. But I am i don't even think I could do that because even when that things come up, I get slow, you know, I've gotten sick um, and I just take too long. And I, I don't want to ever get in a, find myself in a position where I piss somebody off because I've taken too long with their baby. Um, luckily, this is one of my special uh, customers and, you know, friends, Dolly Sis. And she already knew going in that I'm slow. <laughs> and I keep, you know, definitely keep her informed on what's going on. So, um she's 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 okay with it but i don't want to take advantage of that either you know sometimes you be you get too relaxed with the friendship or the oh you know they're okay i know this person and then you push it to the limit and i don't ever want to take advantage of anyone like this so with that being said i'm going to try to get these babies rooted and then say okay this one is available um I actually was considering selling my one of my Valera babies, which was my Tink, <clears throat> but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to just keep moving forward with my plan on the babies that I do need to sell. I have not got a lot done on my full body uh, baby that I will be having. I'll be having a full body silicone girl. That will be available for sale. Um, she's still in early stages. But that could change really quickly. Especially after once I'm done rooting. Um, but I will have a full body girl available. I will have her available, rooted and everything. Um, so I'm working. I'm working. Um, I sold a cuddle head the other day. Grumpy. I am looking to maybe in the month of May starting offering like painting, painting services for those that may be just like, oh, I just want this cuddle baby head painted and that's it. Um, I have a lot of, you know, sis in the community that actually uh, do vinyl but don't do silicone but they root and they just want me to paint, paint it for them and they're going to root it themselves. Um, so I'm going to be offering that um, service soon. Um, the skin tones that I'm going to be doing is Caucasian. Um, I will do Caucasian. I will tell you that I may not be... Well, I've done a really nice Caucasian before. But, of course, I specialize more so in like light biracial. Biracial... Um, uh, uh, AA, light AA, medium AA. And those seem very simple. It seems like it's like one, two, three, four, you know, five different shades, right? But when you go into the AA skin tones, light, light AA can be, uh, six different shades, um, uh, medium and everybody, it's a personal preference. So, um, I consider myself to be medium AA. So, up into my skin tone I think I will be able to paint into um, the cuddle babies but um, so it, it will I will have to like handle those situations one-on-one -on -one individually and see what the person is looking for because I'm not gonna be micromanaged to the science like you can't be like I want it to be a, a chocolate chip chip ahoy brand color <laughs> I don't I don't want to be like you know so nailed down you know you can also tell me like no bumps you know that type thing but other than that kind of like you know just a paint and go service type thing because I think I can you know do those within a reasonable amount of time um 
every now and then I will do a fully completed cuddle baby since cuddle babies are kind of being a thing right now. Um, but I'm not going to do a whole lot of cuddle babies. I prefer full bodies um, when it comes to painting for the most part. But um, I have been enjoying doing the cuddle baby heads. So, um, and I'm definitely, you know, in love with mine that's in my personal collection. So that's another thing that eventually will come up. I won't be doing like, you know how some people just spit, spit, spit. Um, I I know some people paint a cuddle head in a day. I'm like, I can't do it. Especially when you're going into deeper skin tones, it just doesn't work for me. Um, so I will still need a, a few weeks turnaround time just to be on the safe side, but it shouldn't take me too, too long for just the head. But, um, I will be only like taking like maybe one at a time, you know, in between my other work. Um, so that's, that's one thing. Um, I'm kind of moving away from painting reborns to sell. I've mentioned that before quite a bit lately because of the fact that I don't root and I don't have control over how long it's going to take me to root. That's the main reason I've never done really done custom customs on reborns because I'm more comfortable with reborns but I've never really got fully into wanting to do customs because I can't control the rooting um, schedule. So um, I have more control over my silicone babies because I can root them myself. Um, I'm not a fancy smancy rooter yet. I'm, I'm going to practice though and I'm going to get better but I think rooting is an art in itself. So people that want swirls and twirls and micro squirrels in their heads, this ain't it sis over here. Um, I'm the first to admit that. I don't need nobody to call me out on it because I already know uh, I'm pretty basic. Your baby will have hair. It won't be pluggy. I won't be putting, you know, five hairs in a hole and it won't be uh, horrible hair and, you know, just jacked up. It just won't be like swirly, squirrely um, type thing. Um, but I'm working on it. Um, what else is going on? I told you guys about my new baby. His name is Jaden. Um, it took me a lot of thought. Um, I wasn't sure on the name. I could not think of a name for him. I just kept calling him by the sculpt name. And it, the sculpt name just fit so perfectly in my opinion, but I didn't want to keep the sculpt name because someone else already kept the sculpt name and it's just, so I said, you know what? I, I had a couple names and when I said Jaden, it just seemed to fit um, him so well. So I stuck with Jaden and it's it's such a story about him. And I love when, when my babies have a history and a story because they seem to stick around longer. They seem to mean more to me and so Jaden has a story. He has a story. That's that's another video. I can I can do the story on the video uh, in video form. But if you go to the blog, MrSmithBabies.com, you'll be able to see a little bit of the background of Jaden. Um, what else? Uh, I'm not gonna sell Taraji, Joey, or Zora. Those are babies that I'm gonna keep. Um, I don't really have a lot of babies anymore. I am working on, and that's another thing, I'm, I'm gearing more towards working on my personal collection. So I've been wanting a three to six month size baby, you know, that's really truly like, can fit in like almost six month size clothes. So I am working on that. And... I have a special, I have a special, special uh, baby. I got my hands on a Lulu, guys. I got my hands on a Lulu. And so I am going to paint that baby for myself eventually. And, but you guys will have to wait for that, 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 that situation to, to, to happen. But yeah, um, as far as kit sales, like, blank vinyl kits. I'm not going to sell out my kits. I just, with everything going on, I'm like, ah, oh, just keep them every now and then I can paint mine. Um, you know, and 
offer it, you know, bald or, you know, if I get, if I get it rooted, I get it rooted. But yeah, that's where I'm at. These, they feel so, so nice. Like I just keep rubbing them. I know that's so crazy. Um, what else? I think that's it. I think I've caught, I've mentioned everything. Um, I do want to get back to doing more live streams, but I just got to get caught up. Once I get caught up and I don't owe anybody anything, then I can, I'll, I'll be, I'll be good to go. Um, I did do some nesting and some shopping. I don't really do haul videos, but you guys, I'll, you will see some of the little stuff here and there. Um, I won't even tell, listen, I was going to tell you guys about how I'm going to clean my nursery out and I'm going to get it all did and I'm going to do a tour, but I've been saying that for 20 years. My friend brought that to my attention. She's like, your nursery is never together. <laughs> it is not. It's so hard because I'm working and I have, a, this is a huge room in my opinion. Um, but not when you're working two different things is going on. I'm working as um, doing vinyl and silicone. I have three workstations in here, three full. I have a desk, a table, another area. I have three workstations in here that I work from. Then I have my walk-in closet, which it's cluttered to the max, which I end up having to span. And they have two, now the babies have two closets. Because in the other room, I use that closet, which is also full. And then I have my, I even moved out one of the cribs in here. And I still, so I have like my toddler, you know, crawler section over here. And then I have like the changing table and the bump beds and so, but I'm also, I have to use the space for videos, so I have to keep my lighting in here, um, which is kind of take up space, not a lot of space, but it's still, you know, wonky. And then, you know, my kit supply, and it's, it can be organized more. I'm just not keeping up with it, and I'm, I haven't found a system that works that keep me from throwing everything all over the place all over again and it's just crazy because and I keep getting all this new stuff in and then I don't have a real place space to put it so I'm going to get Tabitha over here one weekend she don't know it yet um on one day and to help me and just go through like a bunch of like my baby clothes and I'm not going to get rid of my baby blankets. Um, but a lot of my baby clothes and just like clear it out. Like separate it from girl to boy, winter, summer. And, you know, go from there. And then I'm going to let her find like young girls, young mommies that could use those clothes. And just get rid of like probably... I'm not going to say half, but I want to get close to half of it gone. That way, the shelves, you know, the drawers have space. So when I get new stuff in, I have a place to put it. Because what happened is I organize everything. I get everything in order and everything you have, it's in its place and it's all neat. And then I get all this new stuff and then there's nowhere to put it. And I have to keep getting new stuff because I... I tr I've tried to have stuff stocked up so when I do complete a baby I can just go to the closet and say okay this 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 for the box opening this blanket for the box opening so I don't have to keep running out to the store every time um so I don't know it's 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 kind of out of hand and a lot of the stuff I don't even use anymore I literally probably could just dump like three of four drawers into a basket and I mean in a bag and just don't even go through it and just be like okay whatever's in there gone 
but it's hard because I'll be like, oh, I remember when so-and-so sent me this. Oh, I remember when I bought this for so-and-so. Oh, so-and-so wore this and that. And then I end up just keeping it. Anyway, I didn't mean to make this video super long. I know you guys, some of you guys hate the long videos. Um, but I haven't talked to you guys in a long time. But that's where I'm at. So um, if you don't hear from me for another couple days, I'm really busy. And I'm trying to get caught up. So I will be like rooting like nonstop because I got a goal to finish by this weekend. And I don't know if I'm going to make it. So I've had a lot of birthdays too on top of that. I even missed my mom's birthday uh, get together because I was sick. So which was this past Saturday. So but then Gabby's birthday is coming up too. So we gotta, we're got going to be celebrating that which is big too. My baby is turning nine. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Wow. For those that have been following this channel for so long, you guys remember when I listen back to some of my videos and I can hear her talking in the video and it's so funny. She was just so comical and she always got something to say and she loved, as soon as the camera came on, she had so much to say. Um, I got a lot of slack about how sassy she was. Some people told me I needed to beat her. <laughs> some people told me I was ignoring her. You know, it was just, you know, it was so much that went on. That's why I kind of pulled her off of my videos. But it's so cute to look back and I could hear her talking in the video. And she just had so much spunk. And um, she still have that sass to her, though. And she's so intelligent and she's so well-spoken and just well-behaved. And she's just, she's amazing. She's such a loving, like, light. She's, she's, she's amazing, like such a blessing um but those that remember she was so little <laughs> she was so little when she started coming on here i think she was like one and a half um when you guys started seeing her on video and i can't believe she's she's about to be nine it's so crazy but anyway Oh, and if you see me, if I look like a grease monkey on camera, because I don't know how this is coming across, um, I am working on my skin. It's purposely, I've, you know, brushed my teeth, washed my face, and I put this stuff on my face, and it's, uh, so it's oily to shine, but, yeah. But anyway, um, that's it. I'm gonna go now and set up my day, um. My new baby is just waiting for me. I I ah I can't wait. I I really I hope you guys like really like enjoy him. I I really want to to really um share him like share like I'm I mean I'm, I'm like I'm enjoying my quiet time and my my time with him privately right now so you know I wish someone could record like my interactions with him because it's so funny because I I know that it's a doll and um but when I'm getting him dressed right because you know when you get a new baby you want to know like what clothes fit them, what colors look good on them. And when I'm getting dressed, I'm like sitting there like, oh, nookie wookie, you know, type situations or whatever. And I just like looking at him. And that's just one of the things, like, I guess, you know, to do a whole different video on what type of role play you, I do behind the scenes when the camera is not rolling. Um, I think that's, that's my thing. Like sometimes I was talking to a, a a close friend in in the community the other day and she was saying how oh you know sometimes she just find herself staring at her baby and she's just like oh my gosh and she's just so excited and I'm like that's just it like a lot of people don't understand that sometimes you don't we don't always be like oh picking them up and you know cradling them and stuff like that sometimes it's just we just enjoy looking at them like you walk in the room and you see this very lifelike doll that just looks like a real baby you don't even want to call it a doll you can't even say the word doll 
when you're looking at something so lifelike and so you're you're looking at this baby and it's like you get this like warm fuzzy feeling and it's like it's amazing um it's so hard to explain to people who doesn't one appreciate art to um love you know like babies I am one that don't want to keep babies like you would keep your children I'm not a whole oh my god I just got to keep your baby type thing like no 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 I I'm not that I'm the one that like everybody want to invite to the baby shower because I'm gonna buy a whole bunch of gifts and I I love seeing them they're so cute oh 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 okay come get little Johnny take Johnny home with you baby you know I'm, I'm that type of person I won't lie but I'm also one of those people like if a baby's hungry or see some a baby without, I'm that one that's like, somebody need to do something type thing. I'm I need to do something. I need to help. I don't want to see a baby harmed or abused or whatever. But I don't want it at my house necessarily, all the time. But you know, I love I love people. I love children. I you know I don't see how people could be like so cruel towards a hobby that's so innocent. But anyway, um. But yeah, I'm not getting up in the middle of the night, putting my boob in his mouth for um, bottle feeding, um, which is perfectly okay. Every now and then, don't get me wrong, if I want to put a bottle in my baby mouth, if it has a drink and wet, and I give it a warm bottle and I want to, you know, do that, then I can. But it's not like it's something that I do every two hours like I would a real baby. So, but whatever a person gets from this hobby, that's fine. Um, I know a lot of people, and I did a video and I took it down because I feel like it was just too much. Um, but I know a lot of people are like enraged by the documentaries and stuff. Um, making it seem like people, we just, you know, as a whole, people think that we just go around thinking that these are real babies and just neglect everything else and just spend so much time doing these things off camera like not for entertaining purposes um i think when things are exploited like that for views and attention um it does have a negative impact on the community and all honestly that's just my opinion i think people tend to think that we oh my god these people spend all this time what about their real children all this blah 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 um but that's not exactly what most of us do but if 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 it's someone that never had children or you know can't have children and want that experience and enjoy that and do it just and that's their thing then that's okay you know what i mean um I think, you know, however, whatever comforts you and gets you through the day, then that's okay. Especially when it's not drugs or things that's harmful. Um, but definitely, if you're in a state of depression that's so deep, definitely seek professional help as well. Um, and, 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 and let them, you know, kind of walk you through it so that you don't have a relapse in something. You wake up one morning and it just crash. I'm not a therapist, but I'm just saying. Um, because depression is real. And we don't want to shame someone. You got to be careful with these subjects because you don't want to get so deep into your opinions to where you shame you're you're after one person but then you kind of hurt other people that may have you know came across that and just it you know what I, mean? I don't know so that's why I took my video down um so anyway we'll talk later this is a long long video I'll see you guys in a couple days maybe bye say bye Elijah Ugh.